Coming up on the Black and Gold pregame show, it's the final preseason game, which means it's cut time. Who's on the bubble tonight? The bubble. Plus, we are now 10 days away from the regular season opener in Foxborough. We take a look at the Steelers' schedule this season. Plus, could Carly Lloyd one day kick for an NFL team? We discuss all of that next, right here on WTAJ. WTAJ, your Black and Gold Nation station, is proud to present the Black and Gold pregame show. Here are your hosts, Rosie Langello and Jack Washer. And welcome into the Black and Gold pregame show. One final preseason game. Steelers and Panthers. Bank of America Stadium is the location. I'm Jack Washer. Rosie Langello to my left. What's, What's up? up? No, hey, Jake, not... steal me a soda. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what are we, 12? <laughs> It's a fourth preseason game. Yeah, why we're, not? we're already off the rails. Yeah, that's true. Well, this is kind of like the throwaway game, Jack, like that for throwaway most line. fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but for some players, this is where they show their true worth. Yeah, so tonight you won't really see any starters on the field as they prepare for the regular season openers. But here's how things went Sunday for the black and gold. The team wrapped up a rainy primetime game against the Tennessee Titans. The Steelers won 18-6 if you kept score. Big Ben Roethlisberger made his preseason debut. He played three series and led the team on a nine-play, 58-yard drive that finished with a touchdown to Juju Smith-Schuster. All the starters played except for injured cornerback Joe Hayden. Big Ben, how do you think he did? Health is always a, a top priority, and um, you know, I think we're relatively healthy in the offensive line, especially. And so, um, you know, we'll get as prepared as we can for New England. We didn't get too exotic; we just kind of kept pretty basic, but uh, kind of wanted to get into a flow and a feel and uh, communicate on the road. And I thought we did a pretty good job. Mike Tomlin, head coach, had seven doing his first action. Um, although it was it wasn't a complete body of work, we were able to get him some situational ball and. Uh, to watch them execute and do some things there. So, uh, good night in that regard. Um, like the energy that the guys played with. Really, it was our first time uh, kind of being on the road. We didn't necessarily get some of those road things that you prepare for, uh, but it's just good to watch them function in a foreign environment, be prepared to deal with some of the things that come with playing outside of Heinz Field. And, you know, you see a lot of players nowadays not playing in you know the regular season or not mm -hmm. preseason games, but and Roethlisberger is kind of the same. You know, he's going into um, feels like his 30th year in the league and I whatnot. Know. So, but the fact is that getting these reps, even though it's only like a quarter, quarter and a half, it, it shakes a little bit of the rust off. But if you watch the game on Sunday, he didn't really look rusty at all. No, of course not. Yeah. It's Ben. The, the whole team looked incredible. Yeah. Um, but specifically, I think it's just good because. It's the first year he's been without Juju, right? And now, well, not Juju. What am I saying? Maybe. Antonio. Yeah. He has Juju we now. We knew what so, you meant. We yes, knew what exactly. you meant. We were so like, Maybe. to kind of get familiar, um, prime time under the lights. That's always a, kind of a new adjustment, even though uh, for Roethlisberger has played in two Super Bowls before. So I think yeah. that was good for the Steelers. Yeah, he's always been the quarterback that's always stand out since I was little. Being yes. an Eagles fan, I mean, you always thought of Big Ben yeah. being from Pennsylvania. Yes. Of course. Speaking of Ben, um, he did a sit down interview actually. Uh, with Michelle Tafoya this week, and he said that he wished he wouldn't have called out Antonio Brown after he threw an interception at the end of the Broncos game last season. Ben said it, quote, ruined their friendship. So the video of that tweet was tweeted out. Antonio quote tweeted it and said, never friends, just had to get my ends shut up already. <laughs> now, Brown has deleted this tweet, but it's still all over the internet. Talk about some shade, right? So much shade. And preseason so game number shade. three, Happened last Sunday. It's normally the dress rehearsal for most NFL teams, but that's kind of changing. But the Steelers' defense, they look like they're ready for opening night. In 26 first half plays, the defense gave up just 78 yards and sacked Titans quarterbacks three times, which also included a safety by Stephon Tuitt. Now, this is good news because really the last few years, that traditional sort of Steelers identity of defense has been lacking. And they'll get their first test in about 10 days when they play. Tom Brady up in Foxborough and the, you know, the Patriots, they, oh, they, the they, they did that thing. They, they won like the Super Bowl last year. Right, I think. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're <laughs> continue on. Coming up next, it's the players' last chance to show their worth. We talk about cut down day. Plus, the news that sent shockwaves across the NFL world last weekend, we discuss next.
Like a summer romance, a perfect tan, or a plate of ribs, some things are just too good to last. Like the great deals on select models from Ford, America's best-selling brand. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The final days of the Hurry Up and Save sales event end soon. So get here before pumpkin spice shows up in everything and these deals ride off into the sunset. Get in or lose out on 0% financing for 60 months on Ranger or lease for $269 a month for 36 months. Visit a neighborhood Ford store dealer near you. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? Megan! Hey, you're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Take advantage of my two pack special. Use the promo code and get two my pillows for just $69.98. That's only $34.99 a pillow. Call or go online now. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Get in on the $500,000 Pennsylvania Pick'em at BetRivers.com. Play anywhere in the state and take on everyone in a sports betting event like no other. Sign up for $150 and make your week one picks before September 8th. Then each week, pick the winners of pro football games and compete all season for a share of the guaranteed $500,000 prize pool. You can win up to $2,500 in weekly prizes and the $125,000 grand prize. Visit BetRivers.com. You're watching the Black and Gold pregame show on WTAJ, your news leader. And welcome back to the Black and Gold pregame show with Rosie Langello. I'm Jack Washer. Yeah, so the entire preseason is just kind of one big job interview yes. for most players, <laughs> right? We're talking about the guys you do not know, you know, not the superstars. Doomsday is coming, or cut down doomsday. day, we'll say. Yeah, doomsday. <laughs> As you probably know, each NFL football team has 90 players in camp. The roster must be trimmed to 53. I almost fell off the box I was standing on, by the way. That's why we're laughing. Anyway, Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. That means nearly half of all players in an NFL camp are going to get some bad news by Saturday. That's just life in the league, really. There seems to be a common theme, you know, no coach or general manager wants to be the dream killer, but that's just how it goes. However, some can prove themselves one last time. We are excited about this and the opportunity that it means for a lot of guys, and we're talking openly about it. We talked openly this morning about it, uh, two young quarterbacks. Uh, Rudolph and Dobbs really uh, took advantage of this game 12 months ago and uh, stated a case for the division of labor that became our group in 2018 at that position. So that's just an example of the significance of the opportunity that is this game. So now let's look at some guys on the Steelers roster who are right on the bubble and really kind of walking on eggshells right now. Tazar Skipper, Rosie, greatest name on the team right now. No, no, no. Jordan Dangerfield. Okay, true. Anyway. He's an edge rusher from Toledo. He's got nine tackles, three sacks, and three preseason games. He's really making his case to be on the team. And we can't forget about wide receiver Eli Rogers. He's undersized but versatile with special teams. And inside linebacker Robert Spillane, he's at a crowded position right now. He's the grandson, though, of former Steeler running back Johnny Latner. And we have to talk about former Penn State defensive back Marcus Allen. He's also on the bubble right now. He's battling Jordan Dangerfield and Cam Kelly for a roster spot. Allen is 23 years old. The Steelers drafted him in the fifth round, and he's entering his second season with the black and gold. Allen battled injuries in his first campaign with the Steelers, and now he will have to make some plays to stick around with the black and gold. You know, kind of getting cut is kind of like, Falling, falling off the box. Falling yeah, let's just tell them what happened. Yeah. So we were reading that, and I leaned back. I'm on a box right now, and I fell off the box. Yeah, if Rosie was on the box, it would <laughs> the height discrepancy. Yeah, would it would be, be it would be pretty. But bad. no, but <laughs> but back, back to anyway, Marcus back, Allen. Marcus Allen. This is I mean, like he was. They made an investment, a fifth yeah. round pick, and to be kind of on the bubble in your second year. Um, that's not good. No. Yeah, and I think he, he has value on special teams. I think mm -hmm. he hasn't really popped in the secondary like they want him to. But a lot of guys um, I know in this league, 
make their career on special teams. They can have a 10, 11 year career, and all you gotta do is make plays. So, um, I but thought he like, looked good the day that we went. Yeah, I no, I he, he, did, he did. But like the thing is, you have to show up in games. Like right. you can, you yeah, can look really good in camp. But right. um, and tonight, I mean, you know, as pointless as this game can be, mm -hmm. this is where you see a lot of guys laying stuff out on the line. Right. That's why the starters they'll play because this is a it. lot of injuries can happen. Yeah. Guys are have no fear in the world and whatnot. Right. So, but for Marcus. Hoping that he uh, sticks around with the black. Yeah, and gold. yeah exactly. Yeah. Wish the best for him. All right, so we have some serious NFL news that happened. All right, Pro Bowl quarterback Andrew Luck is retiring at the tender age of just 29. All right, he announced last week Luck started his career in 2012 when he was drafted number one overall by the Indianapolis Colts. That's seven total seasons. All right, retiring two weeks shy of his eighth year. Now, he missed the entire 2017 season with a shoulder injury, and he's dealt with injury after injury luck is leaving the game of football after dealing with pain and rehab his entire career i'm in pain i'm still in pain i've been in this cycle which feels like i mean it's been four years of this injury pain rehab cycle and for me to move forward in my life the way i want to it, it, it doesn't involve football now luck's done the league but the Steelers have had their own sort of share of surprise departures. Think back to 2006 when Bill Cowher decided to quit the game right after the season. That was right after the Steelers won Super Bowl 40. Heath Miller, probably the best tight end in Steelers history, called it a career in, the, in February of 2016. And Le'Veon Bell, perfect recent example. The Steelers franchise tagged him last season, assuming he would still play in the regular season. He did not, sat out the full season, and now, as you know, he is with the New York Jets. So, Andrew Luck retires unexpectedly, but might not be that might not be the most surprising. And I think you know there was, if you followed it, there was a lot of backlash on so social media. So much backlash. But and, and I don't. I think the common misconception with some people is they weren't upset with him retiring because I don't think anyone is going to begrudge someone for putting their health before first. Yeah. I think it's and pe way. people I talk to in Indianapolis, I have a couple of friends who work out there. They fans are tired. We're tired of being lied to. Mm, in 2017, okay. when Luck dealt with a sh shoulder injury, they're like, he's going to be back. He missed the whole season. Right. With this ankle injury, it kept getting worse and worse. It kept changing from a quad to an ankle. And I think people were just fed up. Right. And there's that famous like video clip of people booing him off um, the field right. on Saturday night. Not a great look. No. But I think, it, I, you know, I'm not for, you know, uh, uh, excusing the booing, but I think when all those emotions are coming out, Sometimes you just react in the heat of the moment. I don't yeah. think people, like I said, they don't begrudge him for retiring, right. but I think they're just fed up, not just with luck, but the Colts organization as well. I think it was obviously a giant PR yeah. nightmare. I mean, he's such a nice guy. Yeah. You know, one of the nicest quarterbacks he's in the NFL. He's a nerd. But he's a nice nerd. He's a very nice nerd. Nothing wrong with that, no. right? Stanford but I mean, he said it hurt, right? He was like, well, the booing hurt. I'm sure now Andrew Luck is kind of like, you know, I, I get it. You know, just the type of guy that he is, I'm sure yeah. he understands. But yeah, like if you're a quarterback and you're hearing that at first, it's like, oh, gosh, you're cringing. You know, yeah. that's so sad to hear. But putting your health first, I think it's it, it takes a lot of courage to do that. Yeah. Because, and he's walking away from I don't know what the number is. I think it was close to $50 million. Millions. That's, can we have some? I don't know. Some. We'll take some. All right, moving <laughs> on. Coming up next, a trend is developing across the NFL when it comes to the preseason. We'll tell you exactly what next. The rule of three states Things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Current eligible non-GM lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Acadia SLE one for around 229 per month. Or get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Terrain for around 199 per month. Anderson, your local trusted window and door experts. Grandpa, why do you drive so far to work every day? 
Well, I don't mind at all. I love what I do and the people who work there. Mr. McIntyre envisioned a place where customer service wasn't just service, but an experience. The staff is incredibly knowledgeable and customers can trust that they get the best deals. Not to mention our service department is the best in the area with every tool and part customers may need. I love driving to work every day because it's worth it. You ride life at full throttle, run wide open from start to finish. You're an adrenaline junkie. On or off the road, Yamaha builds it. You want it? Five Star Power Sports has got it. Destination Duncansville. Five Star's got a huge selection of Yamaha bikes, quads, side by sides, watercraft, snowmobiles, plus parts and accessories. Huge selection means high volume. High volume means super low prices. Five Star's got the best buying and ownership experience you'll ever have. Five Star Power Sports. You were born ready for this. You're watching the Black and Gold pregame show on WTAJ, your news leader. Well, welcome back to the Black and Gold pregame show with Jack Washer. I'm Rosie Langello. I introed us in. Hey, how about great. that? Just stick to the Ford preseason game. <laughs> you have to wonder, Rosie, for the guys who will have no problem making the roster, is the preseason even worth it? Yeah, we're not the only ones asking that question either, okay? You see it all over the league. Veteran players will sit out if not all of the mo of the preseason. Just take Big Ben, for example, this preseason. He only played three series total, and that was this past Sunday. Now, he will sit out tonight's game, too, and it makes you wonder if those veteran guys will be ready to go when the regular season starts. So how important is the preseason really for these veteran guys? It seems like the philosophy is changing a lot. A lot of the younger coaches are doing it. Because yeah. when I was growing up and going to Bears games, you would always see the the starters in the first, second, and third. They would play maybe mm -hmm. a series in the first, first quarter to first half in the second one. And they play about three quarters in that third game. Um, and now there are teams that won't even play their starting quarterbacks at all during the preseason because in their eyes, it's not worth the risk. It's not, but I also feel bad for the fans too that do yes. spend those dollars to go see those people. No, you I, know what I mean? completely agree. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, a way to do that is maybe reduce the price. Yeah. I think also, with the, you know, the next CBA is coming up, and I think they're going to be talking about reducing the amount of preseason games to maybe just two, um, because honestly, the pre I mean, it, you hear it so it's much on nice. Sports Talk Radio, no one cares about the preseason. Yeah. Like, seriously, like, people can't wait to get on. Yeah. So. Well, coming up, we wanted to see your Pittsburgh pride, and you answered in a big way. Check out this one little guy that we have next. We have your pictures. At Joel Confer Toyota, we're more than just a full-service dealership. For over 40 years, we've provided the utmost customer service while serving our local communities. Stop in today and let Carl Foxwell introduce you to the Corolla and Camry. Log in at joelconfer.com or visit our showroom at Joel Confer Toyota of State College. Hey, Gus. Hey, Nikki. So what's the scoop? Scoop? Who can pick just one scoop? Well, I'd say that one's mint for me. Sweet choice. Just like this. The newest scratch-off from the Pennsylvania Lottery. Yep. It's Massive Money Match. Wow. With top prizes of 300 grand. You can't top that. Well, maybe with sprinkles. <laughs> Keep on scratching. Like a summer romance, a perfect tan, or a plate of ribs. Some things are just too good to last. Like the great deals on select models from Ford, America's best-selling brand. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. The final days of the Hurry Up and Save sales event end soon. So get here before pumpkin spice shows up in everything and these deals ride off into the sunset. Get in or lose out on 0% financing for 60 months on Ranger. Or lease for $2.69 a month for 36 months. Visit a neighborhood Ford store dealer near you. Longhorn's Cookout isn't something you want to miss, because that'd mean missing our fire-grilled ribeye, sides that turn a meal into a feast, hanging with your closest friends, and missing all that would be, you know, sad. Come in for our limited time Longhorn Cookout with the unforgettable 18-ounce fire-grilled outlaw ribeye, Longhorn's new mixed grill, and our famous full-rack baby back ribs with steakhouse mac and cheese. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Hi, I'm Carrie Confer. You know, I've driven Toyota trucks most of my life. Silly boys, trucks are for girls. Come see us at Joel Confer Toyota. Joel Confer Toyota in State College. Toyota, let's go places. You're watching the Black and Gold pregame show on WTAJ, 
your news leader. All right, Rosie, we say it every week. We all mm -hmm. know that the Steelers fan base is among the most passionate in the NFL. And of course, that extends all around the state of Pennsylvania. So let's see that black and gold swag. Right this week, we have four awesome photos, all from an <laughs> eight year old named Jerry. Jerry Bear. Yeah, we love that name. We love Seinfeld. And these are fantastic. Check out this first one. It's with Joe Hayden at Steelers Camp. Very cool. And I think we should just uh, play a game now. Where's Jerry? Where's Jerry, Jeff? In front of a sailor sign. There he is. Okay, you do not play along sorry, with that. I'm sorry, <laughs> He's I'll asleep tell you, over here. Break, I had a different thought. <laughs> Two hands up. Really adorable. It's gold, Jerry. It's gold. And here is our <laughs> final pick of Jerry with Big Ben in the background. These were sent in by Jerry's grandpa. It was his first time at Steelers camp up in Latrobe. Thank you for all who participated in sending in those pictures for Pittsburgh Pride. All right, coming up, we're getting your eyes ready for some key players to watch in tonight's game. That's nice. And as we go to break, here's tonight's Steelers trivia question. The Steelers have a chance to finish the preseason undefeated. When was the last time that they did that? Answer after the break. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey! You're that guy. The my pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Take advantage of my two pack special. Use the promo code and get two My Pillows for just $69.98. That's only $34.99 a pillow. Call or go online now. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Well, feeling feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Get in on the $500,000 Pennsylvania Pick'em at BetRivers.com. Play anywhere in the state and take on everyone in a sports betting event like no other. Sign up for $150 and make your week one picks before September 8th. Then each week, pick the winners of pro football games and compete all season for a share of the guaranteed $500,000 prize pool. You could win up to $2,500 in weekly prizes and the $125,000 grand prize. Visit BetRivers.com. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get up to 16% below MSRP on most of these Buick models. Or get over 7,000 on this 2019 Enclave Avenir. You're watching the Black and Gold pregame show on WTAJ, your news leader. In the break, we asked you when was the last time the Steelers went undefeated in the preseason? And that answer would be 1997. The Steelers went 4 0 back in the old Bill Cowher days. All right, so no starting player tonight for either team, Jack. Yes, but there are still some guys to keep your eyes on for the black and gold in our Ones to Watch segment sponsored by Five Star Power Sports. And here are the ones to watch. Safety Marcus Allen, wide receiver Eli Rogers, and quarterback Mason Rudolph. Now, we already mentioned Marcus Allen, and while well, he is playing to stay with the team, life in the league is not guaranteed when you are a former fifth-round pick entering your second year. We will see if the former Penn Stater can play his way onto the roster again. All right, now for wide receiver Eli Rogers. Now, he's been with the Steelers since being picked up as an undrafted free agent in 2015. He is a guy who can help in the return game, but he will have to be very special if he wants to stay on the team. And now for quarterback Mason Rudolph. He has had his chance to start in the preseason. And as we have said before, he needs to prove he is worthy of that third-round pick. He also needs to prove he is worthy of playing at this level, in any case, to potentially be a spot starter. Right now, he's going 
for that backup role with Josh Dobbs. And continuing with our ones to watch, this is awesome. U.S. soccer star Carly Lloyd has generated headlines this week when multiple reports came out saying some NFL teams have reached out to her about kicking in a preseason game. Now, Penn State soccer coach Erica Dombach, who coached Lloyd on the national team and one of her current players, they're both all for it. You're out there on the world stage, and you never know where it's going to lead to. The success she had in the World Cup, and more power to her. You know, take those opportunities, run with them, and I'd love to see it. You see female referees in the NFL, female coaches. Why not go out there and see a female player as well? If she can kick a 55-yard field goal as an Eagles fan, I'd take her. I grew up in a football family, like, my whole life. I just wanted to play football. I remember being, like, 12, and I've created this PowerPoint to why my family should let me play Pop Warner football. <laughs> but then ECNL started, and I couldn't. Um, but, like, you know, just seeing that being even a possibility and a thought in people's mind, like, absolutely, like, I'd love to see it. All right, that's pretty cool because I also wanted to be a football player when I was little. A kicker? No, I think I wanted to be a wide receiver. Okay, were you fast? I was really fast, yeah. My dad was a running back, which I just found out. I did not know. I thought he was a wide receiver. Oh. But I wanted to, too. Little Giants, great movie. I love that movie. <laughs> great movie. We'll talk about that after okay, the show. Okay, so this game, again, literally means nothing to both teams, right? But there are still some things to watch. If you're a fan, hey, the Steelers are trying to go undefeated in the preseason. It's time for our keys to the game. And it's show your worth, little dip and dobs. Dip and, dobs. and please, fast game. And first off, Show your worth. Uh, as we said, yeah. these are for guys trying to make the team. Right. These are people trying to, uh, like Josh Dobbs, trying to keep his backup job. This is Mason mm -hmm. Rudolph trying to prove right. himself being the backup quarterback. Right. Um, and Marcus Allen. Yes, and Marcus Allen, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, Dippin' Dobbs, like I said, trying to keep that backup job. And also a fast game. I mean, we can't stress this enough. We want the regular season to start. Yeah. Get the preseason over with. Yeah, fast game. For let's all of you guys trying going. to make the team, make the team, but let's do it in a uh, orderly fashion. I like that. Dip and so, dobs. Dip and dobs. Yeah, exactly. It's so much fun. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, let's take a look at the Steelers' schedule. They open up with the New England Patriots on September 8th, Sunday night football. Then mm -hmm. they come home for their home opener against the Seattle Seahawks and take a trip to San Francisco to take on the Niners. A Monday night tilt with the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. Moving on, Trace McSorley comes to the Steel City as they take on the Ravens. L.A. comes for a Sunday night game. Then the bye. Miami, another Monday night game at, in, uh, at Heinz Field. Moving on, Indianapolis now looks a little less daunting without Andrew Luck there. Mm -hmm. The L.A. Rams, Cleveland, that Cleveland game is on a Thursday night, and Cincinnati on November 24th. Cleveland again on the 1st, Arizona on the 8th, Buffalo on the 15th, the New York Jets on the 22nd and finally finishing up with the Baltimore Ravens. Rosie, quickly, what predict a schedule or predict a record? <sighs> this season? 16 games. Oh gosh. Well, they're definitely going to make the playoffs, I think. 8-8? Eight 10-6. Eight. That's what I'm going with. So hopefully 9-7. and seven. Nine, nine, Find right in the middle between okay. us and whatnot. So just a couple moments left. Man, it's been fun. Preseason, it, 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 it goes along, it drags at times, but you know, we enjoy ourselves yeah. some, from time to time. But we're ready for real football to start. I'm so ready a for real football. A week from tonight, my Bears take on the <laughs> Packers and the Steelers about 10 days from now take on the Patriots on Sunday night. That first game's going to be football. tough, no matter what. Yes. In Foxborough, that's the always tough. Defending Super Bowl champs, it's never fun. Can you, like, stop talking about them being defended? No, no Steelers fan wants to hear that I, either. They are. They are, and they're going to hear about it for next week, so I might as well get them ready. Right I'm an Eagles fan. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but exactly. we did beat them, so. Hey, we're done. We are done. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We are done. For, That's crazy. For Rosie, I'm Jack. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm still in the box. I'm still in the box. Oh.